Hey everyone, it's KCAT. Don't mind this right here. That's a sty. Um, it doesn't hurt. It just looks really horrible. It it really doesn't hurt. So I'm going to do this video uh, before the DoorDash dude um, comes in. I am breaking out into a rash of some sort, uh, but that is going to bug me. I'll just put concealer on it later. Um, it's really hot in here, so, um, and I'm under the fan, so it's pretty good. Um, anyway, I wanted to do this vlog. Um, I know I had said this before, but after the phone call that I just had with a friend of mine, I think I should do it again. Um, if you are new to my channel, I was in a domestic violence relationship about two years ago. I walked away two years ago, uh, which I'm very proud of. And as I was talking to this friend, um, she's going through the same thing that I had to go through two years ago, um, except for she really loves this guy. And from what she could tell me, all I see is a bunch of red flags and kind of, it kind of triggered me. Um, not to the point where I'm violent or anything like that, but I basically could see me in her, so to speak. And I see the destructive damage that my ex had done to me. So, um, which is kind of weird because I thought I would never be able to help somebody. Um, hopefully, um, talking to her, I don't know, hopefully talking to her tonight, uh, will give her some insight. I don't know. Um, she's kind of still in that phase of, oh, he'll change. No, he won't. Um, about nine times out of 10, they don't change. Um, and it usually takes the average victim seven times of going back and going for, uh, going back and forth, um, in the relationship before the victim actually just walks away and, or gets their head out of their ass. So that's basically how it happened with me. Um, so hopefully I have helped her. Sorry, I'm a little giddy. I just saw the notification that do the DoorDash order is here. So I'm going to do the vlog, but I'm also going to feed my face after this. So, um, anyway, hopefully she will get it. Um, I don't know. She's been kind of wishy-washy. Um, the same type of characteristics that she is doing now, I had done. Isolating myself from friends, um, getting offensive, um, basically scared. Maddie, it's just the delivery dude. So anyway, um, if you hear her bark, it's just the delivery guy getting my food. <coughs> Loud mouth. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's just food. It's just food. I know you have an ear piercing. Nope. Sit. Sit. So yeah, um, but hopefully I have helped her some way because the last time or the last thing that she said to me is, I want to walk away like you did. Um, if that's true, then fine. Man, you were a brute. Oh, no, you are not getting my food. My food can stay out there until I'm done. Um, so yeah. Um, it's been, it's been kind of nice, uh, to 
talked to other people um, about the whole situation. With my ex, he was more into, um, he was basically more into psychology. So he, whenever he got the chance, he would try to get into my head using reverse psychology, which never works. It only uh, causes the victim to be detrimental in their thinking, delusional, if you will, and uh, which I regret all the time. Um, mainly, I don't let myself uh, get to the point, I'm sorry, but you're not getting my food. No, I think he left. Yes, I think he left. Yes. Um, sit down. Sit. Um, anyway, it's... Yeah. She knows that there's food out there. Um, <laughs> I thought I could do this before DoorDash came. But, um, anyway. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if I helped her or not. I hope I did. I hope she's... Uh, she has a good head on her shoulders and um, will find her own peace and seek out her own peace. Um, I think that's what's giving me more anxiety now is knowing that she called and somewhat worrying that the next call will be a relative saying that she's gone. Um, which I'm trying not to think of because, um, yeah, she's a sweet girl. I'm not going to say her name because, um, of privacy issues. She did say that I could do a vlog about it, just not specifically saying the whole, you know, her situation, basically comparing. Um, it's kind of like the same person that I had to deal with, but in a different body. Um, the psychological abuse, the verbal abuse, um, the acting like a five-year-old in a 30-something-year-old body, I had to deal with it. Um, and, uh, I basically told her, you know, domestic abuse is like that of a roller coaster. Yeah, it might be all shiny and cool, has all the bells and whistles, but as soon as you get on, you realize that there are no bolts or... Nuts or bolts, as I used, or as I said to her. So you might be fine for a little while. And you're like, hmm, well, okay, okay, this and that and whatever. And then down the road, uh, something might, something so trivial as, you know, what shirt you're wearing or how you say something could derail the whole roller coaster and you are left picking up the pieces or watching everything in front of you just obliterate and you can't fix it um that's usually how I felt and then she asked me how I walked away and I basically told her it was easy I told her the next time that my ex went into rehab or jail, I was done. And to tell you the truth, um, I was done even before then. I stopped taking all of his calls, changed my number, changed my phone. You know, it all starts with the phone because that's how he got me the whole time. Once I changed my phone number and got a new phone, it was all over for him. And I basically, to this day, I've been true to my promise of not being with him. 
not walking back. I haven't even laid eyes on the dude, so, and that's what I told my friend, too. I was like, I haven't even laid eyes on him for two years, and uh, she had to leave soon, or she had to leave real quick after I said that, um, because he was showing up, so, if you are watching, I love you, you are valued, and I hope I helped you, because I know that you watch my videos. You're not a subscriber, but you definitely watch my videos. And man, I look red. Uh, I might have to take some anti-histamine anti stuff. I don't know what I got into today. Today was just really busy. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. In the next vlog, I'm going to pig out on food now.